Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, I wanna share with you the other bottle opener that I wanted to share with you from the last video. What's really cool about this bottle opener is that it's really simple to make. All it is is one piece of wood, but it can be customized. You can use your Dremel, your vinyl cutter, your CNC. You can paint a design on it. You could also add some decorative edges on the side, whether you want to round over uh, on the edge or you want to chamfer on the side. It, it's all up to you, really. You can customize it as much as you want. Also, this bottle opener has a magnet on the back so that the bottle caps can be caught on the front side. Let me show you what I'm talking about, and I hope you guys enjoy this process. This is an excellent scrap wood project because, like I said, it is only one piece of wood. Make sure to check out the description below where you can see the dimensions for this project. The first step is getting it cut to the correct width. Once you got that done, it's time to cut it to the correct length. And once I had one cut, I used it as a template to cut the others. After I had them all cut to size, the next thing I did was add the keyhole slot for hanging. Then I added a chamfer for a nice decorative touch. Lastly, I sanded everything down and added a coat of poly to allow for the Oracle vinyl to adhere better to the wood. Next, I took it over to the CNC and got everything set up. I recently started using this remote control to operate my CNC and I've really enjoyed it. I'll be doing a review on it soon and sharing the pros and cons. Once the settings were input, I placed the Oracle on the bottle opener and ran the job. After it finished, I sanded off some of the fuzzy vinyl left over and I used a toothbrush to remove any leftover wood dust from within the letters. Once that was done, it was time to spray paint. I just used black spray paint, but here's where you can customize it to your liking. After the paint dried, I added some water-based polyurethane and let that dry. And once that was dry, I took the bottle opener back to my CNC and this time carved the circle which will hold the magnet. You can easily use a Forstner bit here but since I don't have any, I use what I had. The settings are also in the description below if you want to use your CNC to achieve this. My shop buddy and me then added super glue in the hole and he added the magnet in there for me. Once the glue dried, I added the bottle opener and I just eyeballed its placement. Lastly, I did some final quality checks and some final touch-ups, and here is the final product. What do you guys think? All right, guys, make sure to take a look at the other video if you haven't seen the first bottle opener that I showed you, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.